Alright, back to the basics. The title says enough. Today, we're gonna be fishing for catfish on Tinder, and then catfish them as their parents. Their actual parents. Finding scammers' info is pretty easy if you're brave enough. Finding their family is even easier. Alright, that sounds pleasant. How? It's called Meta. But first I need to find the scammer. So how do I find scammer friends? Well, Tinder's a good place to start. Chances are the first profile I find is gonna be a good candidate. But I couldn't find any scams right off the bat, surprisingly. I also got zero likes, unsurprisingly. So instead, to find the scammers, I had to go ahead and find them reversely. How? Well, there's this online community where it reports the most up-to-date scam-tastic activity around the web. So I found a post complaining about a catfish. Now I know every detail, no strings attached. So I can just find this even if they made a new account. So this one is from Benin, which is a country. For some reason, I actually believe them. And just by looking at the screenshots, these pics are obviously generated with AI. And that's mind-blowing. How? Because I just reverse searched the images. And it comes out with this website. Now I found it on the most recent generated picture section. These users can generate these pictures, which are, uh, of questionable substance. So, this one happened to match the reverse search, and it is linked to this account, which generated it on this website. So what do I do? I look for this account name on there, and I search the web everywhere else, trying to find if it shows up, and nothing shows up, even though I know whoever made this, made this Tinder profile. So I search up variations of it, and then I go straight through Meta. 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 Oh, that's epic! Oh, I love that. What the? Oh. Well, I guess that's fun. Thank God for you. And now, we have some results. It all comes down to just finding a common denominator but between, uh, a couple of results down, located, yep, in Benin, under this username. So, it could just be a false alarm, of course. The FBI doesn't need to break through the windows just yet. Verify even more. I'm searching for clues, and the mystery gang scooby dooed him again with his photo list. And it actually contains a random shot also in one of their legit Tinder profiles. They might have got some plastic surgery since then, or maybe a botched one if this is them now. So if, it's completely understandable if you want to alter your photos to make yourself look a bit more appealing, but this might be pushing the envelope. And that's how you catch a catfish. And I got him with his full name. Now to go to his friends list, and like clockwork, I eventually find accounts with the same last name. So I search their friend list, and eventually I find... Uh, this dude's dad? Uncle? Hopefully not. Anyway, I'm dropping that one onto the list. The next culprit. This guy, well, he's from Afghanistan, but more particularly, San Francisco. And his name is Melina Starr. Now this post from this anonymous reporter of this scam says that they were duped out of $250 from this catfish, known as Melina, for special privileges. Special privileges. Oh yeah. Sp um, oh, OnlyFans. After some process, I found that their grandparents were on Meta. So this is gonna be even better. Add to the list. And now we have case study number three, also known as Chadwick, disguised as this guy. Now, this one didn't even generate these images, but instead he stole them from someone who he's actually following on Facebook, and it's his own dad. No, I'm just playing. But that would be the best content I've ever made if it was. Instead, it's just some model. And I found this guy's account because the only account that it was following was from this city in Afghanistan, where this guy's profile is located. And yeah, that seems to add up. Funnily enough, some of these catfish don't even, like, make a fake location in order to be more catfish-like. I couldn't find any relatives of, uh, this guy on Meta. Zuck, why have you forsaken me? So I went to Instagram to find them, and I found their, uh... Their mom, most likely. Either that or it's their sister, who was born 30 years before them. All we really need is their name, but a pick would be even better. So now we have all three suspects. Let's go fishing. Welcome to Scammer Geographic.
Alright, so I made each account in the city and exact area the catfish profile is in. And I make my account info some uh, made up username and uh, their parents as profile pictures. And also their real place of residence. And then I just keep swiping until I find something. Preferably the target. I can also narrow the age preference to exactly the age that I know that the catfish is set to based off of the scam reports. Tinder really should just have a search system. Just turn it into TikTok. Everyone gets 60 seconds to explain why you should go out with me. That's literally your whole profile. Okay, I'm trademarking that. No pics, no catfish. I mean, it's not like you can just generate a whole AI video. Oh, great. Uh, with the power of knowing exactly what to look for with these profiles, I found each one of these three profiles. So we have Hugo, Magnifico, Melina, and Jane. What is it about catfish that have to have names like this? I sent a like to each of these profiles, considering that they are probably brand new after getting banned. And Jane was the first to like back. Now here's Jane's profile. Jane. Only serious men swipe right. Okay, I can't speak for all of you, but I'm serious. I am the only woman you need. Not sure I need you, though. Oh, sick burn. That's for you to prove. Gender roles, I love it. This is a man that looks like this, by the way. She's 29 years old, and Jane is living in Tampa Bay, Florida. Damn, someone give her a life preserver, but travels abroad and doesn't have time for me. They went to Harvard Law School. I hope not. Exactly five feet tall, or maybe they just forgot inches. Interests, pole dancing, and mental health awareness. Seems right up my alley. Considering I'm their dad. That's their dad's Facebook profile photo. And also his account is set to 60 years of age. Well, it's a good thing that you went to law school. Because you're going to need to prosecute yourself for killing me with those eyes. Don't die on me. You're too sweet. Alright, so now we're in a full-out Tinder conversation, and this is how you start a Tinder conversation like a pro. Take it from me. Too late! Anyway, baby, let's get into it. I'ma be blunt. I'm 60 years old, and I don't got time for games. I lived a good long life, and I want to go out with a bang. You in? Or in and out? Wait, wait, you... You in? You in or out? Or in and out? Alright, putting that on the new list. List of... Cringe. Okay. No one said something like that before on here. It's because when I see something I want, I reach out and grab it. I want you, Jane. I want you to need me. And what do you mean like that before? How many other men have you been with on here? Don't tell me that we don't have something special. I can see it in your eyes when I look into them as I fall into a trance of unfathomableizable depth. You are the light to my roadway, the conch shell to my conscience. The end-all be-all of universal tranquility as I face my impending mortality. Witnessing the Raper draw near, I wish you to be my dying vision. The dream of your touch being my final sensation brings my numbered days meaning as I lie awake at night pondering the vast universe, knowing it all to be nothing without you. You're desperate, you know? Anyone less for someone of such transcendental beauty and divinity as yourself would be either blind, dead, or lying. I wish to never be either of those should I be lucky enough to be with you. Are you just using ChatGPT to write that? No, I really wrote that. You're hot. Can I have your number? I don't know anything about you yet. I don't know what we have in common. Why don't you get to know me first? My apologies. I don't want to sound pushy. We're two peas in a pod. I'm interested in exactly what you're interested in especially law and order. I've always admired the nobility and honesty of being a lawyer. While pole dancing would be a close second, I tend to have fallen off the edge, if you will, with that skill. But above all else, mental health is of utmost importance. So how long have you been five? It's very good to know. I've been studying in school now to get my degree in law. I hope to follow the footsteps of my mother, who is an attorney. I'm not five? You're not? Oh. I meant five feet, but it's good to know. Don't want to get in legal trouble myself after all. My dear wife is an attorney too. Small world. You have a wife? You know it's naughty then to be. You're a cheating? No, I'm in an open relationship. 
I hope you're open to me. I am only if you're honest. What do you like doing in your free time? All right, boys, the test is on. I thought you would never ask. I'm the manager of a fitness center in Katuno, Benin. So I work out all day. You must be a busy man. I am. If you'd like, I could share you my Facebook page, and you could stop by for a workout if you know what I mean. I'd love to. I love exercise. Then you're just my style. I am old, so I can't do all the work myself after all. What do you mean though, because your profile says it in Benin? That's right, my love. But why are you in Benin matching with, I'm from the United States? I am in Tampa Bay, and you are such an interesting man to... Well, I'm currently in the United States as well. I took the day off to fly here and search for the one true person to complete me. You came to me in a dream. I remember it oh so well, and you took me by the hand and we sailed across the sea into Kingdom Come, as I knew I had found you. It was only a matter of time, and now I have. We've been drawn together by a mystic force unforeseen. It's best not to question it. There's no way we're not meant to be, from the very way you speak. It's like we're already related. Okay, Shakespeare. Where are you? I'm loved to visit, but I've had a hard time to deal with recently and been unavailable. I'm in a very emotional state. I'm so sorry to hear that. What in this world could possibly be so cruel as to allow this? I won't stand for it. My mother has passed away, and I have to pay funeral. This is why I am following her path in life out of honor. I'm so sorry for being this way, but I'm still recovering, as I only had her to rely on. Now I must get through education and get a job, but this is a financial burden I just cannot overcome. That's terrible. I'd do anything to help you. My wife passed on as well. I know how it feels to lose somebody. I can't lose you, too. I'd love to give you all my money in any amount that you need. Just say the words, and I'll start writing down the numbers on my checkbook. In the meantime, you should write down the numbers of your number so I can stay in touch. Or we can talk on Messenger, whichever is easier. Tinder is for goofballs. Okay, my Messenger number is... This is obviously where the scam begins, but I escalated it from 0 to 60 faster than the Cybertruck. Little do you know that all this time, I was talking with the other three candidates. It didn't work. Each time I dropped some pickup line with an account dressed up as their parents or relatives, they just either instantly blocked me or didn't reply. So I had to make some random alt account to reel them in to not risk losing out entirely. And finding them twice was way harder than you'd ever imagine. So I set up a group chat and individually lured them into it one by one. So now we have all three catfish together. I'll have the other text convos on a members only video for you, so stop typing. It's there. Jane was the first in this group chat. I planned perfect timing to add self-proclaimed Hugo Magnifico and Melina something in there. They both think I'm some random victim, but I'm about to become all three of their daddies. Yep, add that to the list. I'm gonna be using Facebook account under this alternate username to not cause confusion amongst the rest, who will soon enter from stage left. Welcome to Scammers. Hey Jane, it's me. I am again so sorry for your loss, and hope I have enough to offer you to make even a little sunshine grace your presence. They take the invite that I sent them, and then they enter with an account literally made one hour ago. I'm okay. I thank you as you did not need to show such kindness in that offer. I'd love to come see you since you are in America, if you have the time. Yes, I too would love to finally meet my one true love. I must tell you, I am old. I would surely hope this is not a turnoff, as my heart is still as large as my wallet. <laughs> I couldn't request you pay me. My funeral expense is too much, but I love to talk in person. That's absolute nonsense. You deserve more money than the world could ever print. Well, actually, they probably could, but you get the point. <laughs> I'm rich, I'm old, and I'm in love. I would have used this for my kid's college, but they decided to go off scamming people on the internet for money instead, so he doesn't need education. We can make a better kid together. Oh baby, let's start a life, let's go off, and let's see the world.
Let me be so blessed to be graced by the very presence of your being. Let your touch elevate me to a realm above the heavens you descended from, so that all the world may know your beauty. Hallelujah! <laughs> oh darling, may you be so kind as to privilege my ears with your name once again. Just type it out, so I may relish its glory. You can already see my name, you... My funeral expense is $25,000. Look, I know you're just playing, so just stop wasting your time. You're not my dad. You're on a fake account. Are you paying? <laughs> Wait a minute. What do you mean, I'm not your dad? Oh, you're not on that account? Your profile, bro, how'd you get that photo? I don't know what you mean. I wasn't involved in any of that. Why aren't you talking like yourself anymore? Are you alright, Jane? Jane's been kidnapped. I got her. $25,000 or I kill. Hello? You want a joke? I know people. I will kill you. You know? Hello? Hello, sir? We've taken Jane away for ransom. If you want her to live, please WhatsApp me for payment info. We set this up to get a ransom, so don't believe that we are bluffing. We'll send pics as proof if needed. You know what, Jane? This is all starting to sound like a big scam. And if there's one scammer I know, it's my no-good, dumb mistake of a son. Hello? Oh, hi, Hugo. I'm sorry for the late reply, but I had to let my dogs out. You're talking about scam, but you're dressed as my dad while I'm minding my own business. <laughs> Samu, I know it's you already. You tried to scam me into paying for a funeral of your own mother. Hi, why is there so much more accounts in here? My mother ain't dead. <laughs> Don't you think I know that my own wife is alive, you insolent failure of contraception? I can't believe you've done this. Where did I go wrong? At Hugo. I'm so sorry about that. I accidentally added you to my son's group chat. I'll switch it really quick. Hey. You said, oh, my wife died when I said it and you lied. Don't think I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Jeff? Hi, Melina. This is embarrassing. I thought this was a private chat. I don't know what happened. And you're speaking rubbish with all these fake accounts. <laughs> Samu, this is a mistake. I didn't want you to know. I had a wife before your mom, and she passed away. Stop being so disrespectful. How could you lie about your mother for money? Now everyone's in the chat. Just for reference, Melina thinks I'm a random man, Hugo thinks I'm a girl, and all four of us are one big unhappy scamily. Sorry, I think you're messing around. <laughs> no, I'm not, Melina. I told you about the scammers that were hacking into my phone before. I didn't know that you'd be involved. I only want the best for you. Who TF are you talking to? <laughs> Me? Melina, hey, your account was made just now. I know you're a fake. Hey, Hugo, I'm being hacked. My son's account is being used to harass me for money. No, it wasn't. Who the... You think you are talking to me like that? Yeah, I made this account, but not for you. He's lying. Just leave. I don't think I'm anyone. I'm not talking to you. She has a point. You need to stop disrespecting woman. At Melina, I'm sorry. Just hit me up with your number and we could talk privately. Hugo Magnifico. Hey, big guy. Let me make another private chat where my accident of a son can't interfere. But Hugo left, never to be seen again. I can't believe you think I'm falling for you after all that. You need to get a life. Please, just stop. How can I leave? There are too many messages. I want to believe you, but this doesn't make sense how there are so many people. Why are you talking to the other man? Melina. He means nothing to me. I love you. And then Jane goes off the rails. I hope that you know that when I tell your mother what you did, we will be grounding the hell out of you, Samu. She's already had to bear the misfortune of giving birth to you. <laughs> and after a few more times of copying and pasting, poor Melina tries to reach out to me. At Oladen Bin Bama, why is that your name? Melina, I've been trying to tell you this whole time, I don't have control over the situation as my accounts have been compromised. Which is why I didn't want you getting twisted into this. Stop talking like you're in another room with them. We know that you've scammed us all and are now calling me a scammer. You hacked me to get my info? Okay. Samu, I'm going to smack the goofy out of your ass when I get home. <laughs> At Melina, you still down to FaceTime or something later? And then Samu quite literally loses the last biscuit in his basket. Oh my god, you literally hacked me and are trying to talk this fake account still. Bro. You not real dad. I wish I wasn't. 
The only reason you're even still alive is because I have better things to do than worry about a dumbass who gets on Tinder as a fake account to waste time. I know people and look, if you don't stop messaging me, I will literal kilk you. Hey. That's weird. Usually anger is further down the stages of grieving when caught catfishing. Why are you a catfish? And that's the end of this season finale. Unfortunately, Melina something and Hugo completely ghosted me, whereas Samu, aka Jane, was the last one in the chat before leaving. Become a member if you want to see how the chats with all the other catfish in this video went down. And also, if you want to see more of Scammer Geographic, you could subscribe to this channel by gently murdering the like button and the subscribe button too and just blow this screen. I wonder what their parents really think about what they do, or if they even know. Maybe I'll just have to make that another video, telling their parents in person. An IRL sitcom. You'll see me in the next one. Goodbye.